If you want to find the heart and mind of America, follow the road past the shops and the streetlights to the place where America's game is played. Here comes a relay. Hodges will make three. The throw is late. In Camas, Washington, that place is Louis Block Park. The park opened in 1940 and is one of the oldest in the state of Washington. It's a place where memories are made season after season, year after year. In 1972, lights were installed at the park so teams from the Camas Washugo Babe Ruth League could play at night. Over the years, keeping the lights working at the park became more and more difficult. Playing under the lights became a safety hazard for teams. The lights were too dim for players to see. That didn't sit well with the leadership of the Camas Washugal Babe Ruth League. Night games at Louis Block Park are a tradition for players and families alike, and no one wanted to see this tradition end. So the league decided to raise money to replace the lights. They turned to community partners like Clark Public Utilities for support. Clark PUD had serviced the existing lighting system at the park for years. Beginning in early 2015, PUD crews prepared the field for the new lighting system. The utility donated numerous volunteer hours over several months to complete the work. A lot of guys didn't like to come out here and work on them. They were so old and antiquated. Our first thing to do was come out and take down the old lights, remove the poles. I would say the biggest challenge was probably the rock in the ground. This is a story about what happens when good people come together to create something great. The league secured grants from Major League Baseball's Baseball Tomorrow Fund and Musco Lighting to pay for the new light posts and lights. Additional donations from the city of Camas and area businesses paid for a new scoreboard and bleachers. Just in time for the 2015 season, and in honor of its diamond anniversary, Louis Block comes alive at 75. Night games never look so good. Adding lights to the Louis Block Park field is gonna allow us to continue to play night games and continue to allow the kids uh, a safe place to come and play. It's really good to be able to provide a place like this. Without these lights, there would not have been any night games this year, probably next year or the year after, which would have cut uh, the youth participation here by at least 50%, if not more. Many members of the PUD crew played baseball when they were young, so this project became a labor of love. You know, I kind of have a soft spot for, for baseball. Played a lot of baseball growing up, and if you did get the opportunity to play at night, that was pretty neat. Something about playing under the lights, it's a lot different. Being a customer-owned utility means that we're focused on the community and the long-time value we added to this park as well as the community of Camas. Clark PUD is a great part of the community, and we're glad to be here. Without their um, commitment to, to the youth in, in Camas and in Clark County, um, this project would never have happened. We, we couldn't have raised the amount of money it took to get all these companies to come in and, and help us with the, with the project. It's neat that I got to be involved in this project because I contributed to something that's going to be around a long, long time, long after I'm gone. You know, and a lot of extra hours of enjoyment for these kids to they'll play their games later into the night. 
because somebody gave before when I came through baseball. Somebody was there before me to get things started. And I want to be there so the next generation has the same thing I have.